Hello guys, welcome to this session. Uh, today, I am gonna show you how to merge two dictionaries having the same key. Let's assume we have two dictionaries and we wanted to uh, merge together and form a new dictionary. Uh, so how can we do that? So this, uh, in this tutorial, uh, you will learn how to merge the two dictionaries having the same key and uh, equal number of uh, items in the dictionary. So let's assume we have a dictionary one and dictionary two. Then in the dictionary one, there are a list of items. Uh, the key is three. The items are a list of items, uh, 15, 10 and 15. And the key is one, and the item is uh, uh, this one, two, and five. And the second dictionary uh, having the same key, but different items, that is not uh, a problem. But the item, the keys uh, are the same and equal number of items in the uh, two dictionaries. Okay. And this also two, three, one, five. All right. They have uh, the same key, but different items. So how can we merge the two dictionaries having the same key? Let's try to see. Let's define a function that going to merge the two dictionaries, D1 and D2, and create a new dictionary, D3. That is an emitted dictionary. For, uh, we are going to append the new uh, merged dictionary items into a new uh, dictionary or an emitted dictionary that is called D D3. So here, but the order of the, or the sequence of the dictionary items or keys are not in the same order. So they are, uh, we are going to just sort the keys. For example, if you take the first dictionary, just sort the keys in ascending order. And that is easy. So for every key in uh, sorted uh, D1, which means uh, in this case, when you, when you sorted uh, this, it is gonna uh, sort the keys only and uh, iterate over the keys. Uh, for example, let's check sorted dict one. Yeah, just uh, put the list of keys in ascending order, one, two, three, five. But here, the dictionary one is not in ascending order. The keys are not in ascending order, but we can just uh, sort and put in the ascending order and iterate over uh, each key. When you sort that, not uh, sorting the items, the values of the key, but uh, we sort the key uh, of a dictionary, okay. For every key, for example, when key value is one, uh, just update the dictionary three key that is uh, one in ascending order. Then we create a list uh, for each uh, dictionary uh, key, uh, value of list from dictionary one and dictionary two. For example, in uh, dictionary one, the key is one, and in dictionary two, the key is uh, one, that is uh, this one. So we put uh, thus uh, two items from the two dictionaries in the list. That's why D1 pass key value. Then we just get the value of that key. That is uh, D2 and we pass this and up, append or update to the new dictionary or append to the dictionary. This is the way how to update a new dictionary, how to create uh, or add a new item into a dictionary or a new dictionary items into uh, a dictionary. So the uh, this is already uh, created. That is an emity dictionary. And we just added a new dictionary item into that dictionary based on this. Okay. Now we are going to return the D, I mean the D3, and let's run, uh, and let's call D3, merge the two dictionaries, dict1 and dict2. Let's print out. 
All right. Uh, just merge the two dictionaries together based on the key values of the two uh, dictionaries. Uh, the item in key one in both dictionaries are seven and three. So we merge it uh, into a list. We created a new list item into uh, a new dictionary based on that. And in the key va uh, is two, then we merge it the two items from the two uh, dictionaries having the same key, that is two. 10, 20, uh, 27, and uh, into one, four. That is one, four. So, and so on. So this is the way how we can merge two dictionaries having the same key and equal number of items. So but the item values or the key values uh, are maybe in differences. So that is not a big deal, but keys are the same. So we can merge the two key uh, dictionaries and form or create a new dictionaries. That is uh, uh, today's uh, tutorial or uh, exercise. So you can stay with us and learn a lot about Python. Thanks for watching.